Aquarius. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But Aquarius, wow, the Nine of Cups could not wait to fly out there as well as the Six of Wands in reverse, which means there are a lot of personal desires and manifestations that are coming to fruition here very quickly, or you may already be in the energy of it, feeling a sense of su success, feeling a sense of um, uh, achievement from a personal level. So this is really an exciting uh, energy that I'm picking up here from you, Aquarius. This is really, really great. Ace of Pentacles there. So there is an opportunity here for you um, to be able to progress forward on your journey. Ooh la la, Ten of Cups here as well. Um, there needs to be, so uh, relationships have the potential to grow, build. Um, finances, business is all here for you. But there is a calling uh, that's, uh, that's being asked of you now from the universe. Something that is being asked uh, to change, okay? Um, Maybe it's releasing expectation. Maybe it's being mindful of where your energy is going. Uh, it could even be, um, you know, getting the whole story before reacting to any conclusion. Um, but there is certainly the universe is asking of you to just be mindful about perhaps the entire energy of the situation before, again, really feeling like you want to make up your mind or make a decision here. Um, because I feel like there is a, some um, uh, need for collaboration or there's a need to come together with those around you. And I feel like like maybe even with your community or the coworkers, loved ones, but there is a need to come together and there's a need to rekindle and connect. And again, when we are focused so much on what our perspective is, we don't see things from the other side and that will hinder our ability to be able to feel good in our lives because there is always two sides to every story. And when we're so attached to what we feel like is the right answer, uh, we end up missing a whole world, right? A whole world, a whole perspective. The, the one thing that is certain is that there is an opportunity for growth being presented to you. Um, however, I feel like, again, there may be, uh, you might be overthinking this maybe attached to an energy that has happened in the past and this is replaying. And so whenever this happens, we calibrate our energy to that time. It's like almost like if you went through a really bad divorce and you keep replaying in your head this bad divorce and how bad your ex was and how stupid they were and how they didn't do anything right and they hurt you and they treated you badly and you keep replaying all these memories, okay? Your energy will then be vibrating this scenario, this energy, which means that you will attract the exact same person into your life because you keep repeating it, keeping it in your vibrational energy. Someone's treated you bad at work. Someone's a friend's treated you miss poorly, you feel, and you keep repeating it. I can't believe they did this. You keep repeating what they've said, how they made you feel. You keep repeating it, keep repeating it. It stays within your energy centers. And then you attract more scenarios of this nature because this is what your energy represents. And this is what exactly what the universe is saying. Get out of this Aquarius because you have so much, uh, so much more to create than repetitive um, energies that didn't serve you. At the end of the day, we only go through what we go through just so we can pick up the lessons and learn from it and then move on, right? And that's really it. But when we repeat the negatives that have happened to us or repeat things that have happened to us, it stays within us, right? It only self-sabotages us. And then we wonder why our lives haven't progressed. We wonder why we haven't attracted our, our perfect partner. We keep attracting the same energy in our lives. And it is just because we keep replaying those those energies and we connect to them. We connect to them in a way where we don't let them go, right? And so be mindful of this now uh, moving forward, Aquarius, because 
you're being guided towards a, 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 an, an event or a celebration or a happier time for you, but it is going to come uh, with collaboration, right? It's going to come with the intention of wanting to heal energy, right? Not repeating the same scenario so that you keep yourself mad or you keep yourself not forgiving, right? And, 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 and you're then able to move on when you start to look at, okay, well, what did I learn from this? And when you really learn something from the scenario, you're grateful, right? You're not, you can't be, there's no ounce of uh, mad or upset in your body because when we're grateful, we're just, we're just grateful, right? We're just grateful. We're, there's, there's, Grateful and happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction all live in the same house, right? And and that's truly the energy that we want to embody here. Again, you're learning a lot of spiritual lessons from this particular situation scenario. So embrace the lessons. That's all we can do, right? Is embrace the lessons. The more you embrace the lessons, then it's like the faster you grow and then the faster your manifestations come. Like believe it or not, and this particular scenario that you've you're in or you've gone through is aligning you with particular desires that you have wanted. So it's it's Sometimes when we're in the energy of something, we're only reacting to what we see. Well, this happened and that happened and I don't like this. And then we repeat that energy. And again, that's what our energy will emulate. But if we can see past that, which is hard for a lot of humans to do, right? We, we don't see past that, the hurt, the trauma, the annoyances. We, we're, we're in it and we're feeling it and we're like, ugh. But really, if we can start to see the outcomes of things, of how we want them to go, if we can start to see the possibilities of what will come from this. Well, this is happening for a reason. So I wonder what the universe has in store for me. Then it allows us to cool our heels a little bit and then start our intuition kicks in. And when our intuition kicks in, that's when we have back to our sense or back into our sense of knowing. And when our inner sense of knowing kicks in, we're good to go. At that point, you're good to go. Higher self is, is in full effect, right? Here we have butterfly spirit just validating that, that you know, there's, there was a transformation that was needed energetically. And this time in your life is promoting that growth so that you are able to then get to reach your desires so much faster. Okay. Same thing with us. My husband and I recently got sick and this, this completely fast forwarded our growth with with our desires of what, what pardon me if I may speak if what we want to have happen for us this this in, um, enhance that so we're so grateful for it. it's like at the time it sucked but while we were sick very sick and again had no uh, ability to take a break we just had to keep we just had to laugh it off and do what we could and and have the focus of we're learning a lot of lessons. There was a lot of lessons learned from this. We're grateful for it, right? Because that's all you can do. And the more you have this, the more that, that the easier that growth comes. But here we have again with the collaboration cards. Now we have the three of pentacles. We have the collaborate and we have the three of cups. So Aquarius, it's time to get out of your own head. And it's time for you to start working together with those around you that are wanting to help you, that are wanting to support you. Okay, don't push them away. Welcome them in because this will be your salvation. Again, a lot of the times we have it in our own heads that we've, we're, right and something happened to us and we we need to you know make this known and it's just not the case it, results is what you're looking for and results comes from love results comes from connection results comes from a willingness to to trust and forgive and a willingness to just want to grow and truly that will just enhance your life in all ways because here we have skunk spirit know your worth I mean at the end of the day knowing your worth is about understanding that love is the hardest thing we can do at times right it's so much easier to be upset it's so much easier to um you know uh, be hard on ourselves because the momentum of fear is much stronger here on planet earth right we're all a collective consciousness and everyone most are living their lives from a fear-based perspective and um, so the momentum of when our fear-based thoughts creep in it goes very fast and so when we can stop that momentum and channel our energy into more of a positive outcome, then we retrain our awareness. And it's difficult to do because it's like going down a water slide, right? Just stopping in the middle of a water slide is, a, is that momentum of that. But at the end of the day, when we adopt principles like meditation, through nature, through even just the awareness of, oh, momentum's going fear again. Okay, I need to stop breathe into my heart, take a minute and recalibrate, reassess the situation, right? Because again, a lot of the times we're just creating um, something out of nothing. And the more that we can let all of that go and forgive, then we can really start to rebuild and repair relationships and 
energies in our life. But this is what the universe is asking for you right now is to come together, Aquarius, uh, with those who love you, with those who care about you, and recognize that this is a time for growth. This is a time for strength now. And uh, just make sure that you are not in your own head taking things too personally too much because this will inf influence and impact the be able the, the possibility and the, the opportunities that are presented to you. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aquarius. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.